Hi, this is KD9BFU and in this video we are going to look at Boondock Echo. We look at the device and how to get started. So on this device, on one side you will see that you have a micro SD. Boondock Echo comes with a micro SD card. Then you have two USB ports. One is to power Boondock Echo and second one can be used to debug, connect a serial terminal or even upload the new firmware. On the other side, you will see there's a Kenwood type connector. This can be used to connect many types of ham radio. And we have the transmit safety switch. If you turn it on, it will transmit. If you turn it off, it will not transmit. It also has a 3.5 regular audio jack and you can also use this to connect different kinds of radios. On the top, you have three RGB LEDs, and this shows the status of Boondock Echo, radio, and Wi-Fi network. And different colors of LEDs depict different status of the device. We have a speaker, which plays back the audio, and we have a microphone, and you can push the button and talk, and it will transmit. If you look at the buttons, we have reset, we have function button. This can be used to put the boondock in bootloader mode, then push to talk button, then play next and previous button, and the volume button. Many of these buttons have multiple functions. For example, double tapping the volume button will mute or unmute the device, and the play, double tapping the next button, will play all the audio messages and the previous and next button could be used to play the previous and next messages from the boondock echo all right so let's look at what are the types of radio you can connect with boondock echo so with built-in connector you can connect to common radios like this is a Quansheng radio you can use this and likewise you can use other radios like this any tone uh, you can use it it's a DMR radio, you can use that. Then we have another Baofeng radio. This is a GMRS radio. Or you can also connect to our trusty old UV5R Baofeng radio. You can connect to all these radios with this connector. But you can also use your 3.5 audio jack to connect to any radio device which, ha which has an audio out jack. One example is this is a Uniden BC355N. This is a scanner. You can scan police department, fire department, emergency, and so on. This also has an external speaker, so you can connect your Boondock Echo to the external speaker. Or this another one, it's a Anytone 778UV. So this is a, a 2 meter and 70, 70 centimeter radio. And once again, you can use the audio jack to connect to Boondock Echo. Many of your radios like this Yesu FT5D, they have an audio jack. So you can also connect to the audio on these devices using Boondock Echo. So let's look at how you can make your Boondock Echo work. So I have a charge cable and I'm connecting it to charge port. And as it turns on, you can see it gives you a beep. You will see the LED lights showing up once it connects to the internet. All you have to do is take your radio and for testing, we will connect it to the weather radio frequency. And all you have to do is connect and set the volume to maximum. Right now the audio is coming out of Boondock device and the LED also shows you that it is recording. I will turn off the volume to trigger recording to stop. So Boondock Echo will start recording as soon as it detects audio on your radio and it will stop recording when, it, when there's no audio. So how do you play the audio? To play the audio on Boondock, all you have to do is click the play next. This was how you get started with Boondock Echo and how you can connect your radio and start recording.